after this lesson, students will be able to write and graph inequalities based on real-world scenarios. Sue ran a two-kilometer race in eight minutes. Write an inequality to describe the average speeds of runners who were faster than Sue, and graph the inequality. Since we're writing and graphing an inequality based on average speeds, we first need to figure out what Sue's average speed was. Since she ran a two kilometer race in eight minutes, we can use our distance equals rate times time formula in order to figure out her rate or average speed. Her distance was two kilometers, so we can plug that in for our D or distance, which equals her rate times her time of eight minutes. Since the rate is being multiplied by eight, we do the inverse operation, which would be to divide by eight, in order to isolate r. This cancels out. So we're left with r equals two kilometers per eight minutes, which reduces to one kilometer per four minutes. In other words, Sue's rate was a quarter of a kilometer per minute. So now we can graph the inequality. I'll put one quarter in the middle, and then two quarters, or one half, followed by three quarters, then four quarters, or one, zero, negative one quarter, negative one half, etc. And we're writing an inequality to describe the average speeds of runners who were faster than Sue. So we're talking about people whose rate is greater than one-fourth kilometer per minute. So we have an open circle on one-fourth, and we're shading all of the numbers that are greater than one-fourth. So we're shading to the right. Number two, Abe was sure that he didn't score less than 73 on his algebra test. Write an inequality to describe Abe's possible score and graph the inequality. Well, we're going to first define our variable. So we're going to let x equal Abe's possible test score. Since he's sure that he did not score less than 73, that means that he believes that his score of x is either greater than or equal to 73. This is our inequality. And now we can go ahead and graph it where we put 73 in the center. Since it's greater than or equal to, we're going to have a solid circle in 73. And it's greater than or equal to, so we're shading it to the right. Number three, 
Kareem hopes that his next biology test grade will be higher than his average to date. His first three test grades were 77, 83, and 86. Write and simplify an inequality to express the scores that will meet Kareem's hopes. Well, we need to first figure out what his average is at this point after his first three test grades. To find the average or mean, we add up the test grades, 77 plus 83 plus 86, and then divide by the number of data points, which is 3. Our sum is 246, which I now divide by 3. So his average to date is 82. Since Kareem hopes that his next biology test grade will be higher than his average, he's hoping that x is greater than 82, where x represents Kareem's next biology grade. And then we can go ahead and graph this inequality. Since he hopes that it's higher than the grade, it's greater than 82 and not equal to it. So we are going to put an open circle on 82. And we shade to the right. 